Well, I'm gonna do a driving video. Trying new fold holder. I tried clipping it to the dashboard, but it just aimed down too far. All you could see was the hood. Even now you see mostly the hood. Yeah. Probably eventually I should get one of those hero what do you call those cameras? Hero fives, hero sixes. Okay, well I'm gonna do a little I'm on Boss Road here. I'm gonna do a little driving video going towards uh, Bullhead City on uh, Highway 68. Traffic comes through here at about, well the speed limit's 55. Let's see. You can kind of see the mountains up ahead and all that stuff. See how, uh, how this phone holder does compared to the other one. I think if it was mounted to the dashboard, it would be a little bit more steady. It does seem to be steady, but all it does is aim down towards the hip of the hood more. So I guess I'll just have to try another phone holder for the next time. So, yeah. It's pretty through here. They say you're supposed to slow down to 45 and people go through here at 70 because of the construction. I'm heading west right now. That's why you saw the sun when I first started. came out and took all that stuff out. So there was no wires in there. Yeah. So they're going to put in a, I think it's called a farm board uh, fuse box. I think the guy called it that. And it'll be uh, wired for 200 amps. And uh, that, and then it will have a, a 50 amp RV plug and a 30 amp RV plug 
and then the remainder will be for a uh, house probably in the future if we ever decide to go that route. Now I go back to 55, it yeah, looks like. So, or what does this say? It says 65. So, I'll go 65. 61, 62, 63, 4, 5, 65. Alright, so I'll go up to, to the top of this ridge, which uh, should be in about another four minutes or so. Then you can look down into the uh, down into the valley where Kingman and Bullhead City are. The price of gas here is about three dollars and forty-eight cents when I first moved here a little over a month ago. It was three dollars and a penny. Roads in uh, Arizona, at least in the northern part, they're not, they're not very, they're bumpy, they're not as smooth, and a lot of the side roads are just dirt, <laughs> dust is everywhere, it's uh, not even worth you deciding to wash your car, because 30 minutes later it's going to be dirty. A lot of washes. This is called twin wash here. Yeah. So, yep. So we're waiting on the electrician guy and the permit uh, on our land. The water uh, is hooked up, but there was a leak in it, so I we dug up some of the pipe so we can uh, get some water access. And uh, the people from Valley Pioneer Water Company gave me a new water shut off and valve and all that stuff so we're not having any issues there it's just at the end where my pipe is I'll have to replace that so I just got it turned off until we move on to the property and then I'm, we're going to have uh, somebody come and uh, uh, put in uh, a concrete slab that'll be 41 feet by 19 feet and then they'll put a metal cover, you know, uh, like a cardboard deal. It has to be uh, anchored in really good. It has to be anchored down about three feet on the sides because otherwise a micro boost wind, wind will come and <laughs> blow your uh, cover away. And then the travel trailers and RV and the fifth wheel will have to clamp that down to the cement slab so it doesn't flip over. So, yeah. And if we did go with uh, just plain uh, gravel, uh, leveled out gravel, then we'd have to get like a mobile home uh, anchor. So, that's Sacramento wash there. This pass that we're coming up to and it is called Union Pass. I think it's at 4,500 feet. But then when you go down to Bullhead City, in a period of about nine miles, nine, ten miles, you go down about 4,500 feet. You go from about 4,500 feet, well, you go from 4,500 feet down to like 500 feet. So I guess that's 4,000 feet. So you gotta have good brakes on your trailer or your truck. And coming the, way, the other way, you gotta have a pretty strong engine that doesn't overheat on you. For me, when I go down the uh, other side, I just use the uh, brake assist deal on the tow haul mode and it says brake assist exhaust brake, or whatever it says, on this uh, GMC Sierra. The price of gas in uh, Bullhead City is a lot cheaper. It's about $2.98 right now. Still in the $2 range, just barely. fill up on gas, you better have a reason for going down in the Bullhead City. 
otherwise you burn, burn all your gas coming back. 30, 30 miles one way, 28 miles. The mountains here are quite jagged. They don't have any trees in them. in the Santa Claus, Arizona, that the uh, people that bought it, the lady that bought it with her husband, they tried drilling down 2,000 feet so that they could do some real estate development. But guess what? They still didn't get water. <laughs> so I don't know. Probably have to go down quite a ways to get water, I suppose. Go down any further, you'd be getting magma. Sun's hiding behind some clouds there. Makes for nice sunsets when you have clouds. Some of the most beautiful sunsets I've seen. I get top ball, turn around, and come back, and then you can see what it looks looks like going the other direction. I don't think I'm going to go all the way into Bullhead City or this video would be 40 minutes. Well, yep. I'm waiting for my nursing license for this state. I have a nursing license in Washington State. But there's a few hoops you have to get to go through before you get a license in another state. So, I don't know what people do when they have to move suddenly. I guess they just wait if they have enough money for that. There's something to be said for downsizing. living in our fifth wheel for two months now. And some of the things I miss is uh, I miss a garage to park your cars in, keep your cars clean. But I'd say for us, a garage is two years away. And once I get a nursing license, probably in the next week or two, I can start working. I also got a food handler's permit in case, in case I had to flip burgers if I'm waiting. So. Oh, we're turning into the sun now. Safety pull up one mile. Almost to the summit. Trucks should probably go 50 miles an hour well, down. Six mile an hour grade for the next 12 miles with a turn signal at the end of it. there's a place up here where I can turn around. Maybe, maybe not. It's hard to say. Hard to say. Alright. Safety pull out. See? There's a trailer that pulled out for safety. Okay, I'm going to go over here. Some guy, uh, Coachman Catalina. It's a Ford. Ford, uh, probably a 250 from the 90s. 91, 92, somewhere around here. Runaway truck rail. Okay, now we're going downhill. I know there was.
was a sign somewhere that said how what the elevation was, but I think I was too busy turning lanes for that trailer that was in the right lane at the top of the hill. So I'm turning around. Arizona 68 East. And I'm going to turn around. So now you can see a little better going east now. I was going west. I'm not going all the way down to Bullhead City. how the colors look a lot different when you're not directly facing into the sun. I sure like the mountains around here. We went to Seligman last week. Last week, yeah. It was pretty. Saturday. Sunday, I mean. So it was this week. And being that it's my birthday, I might go someplace for my birthday. Maybe we'll go check out Flagstaff or Sedona or something like that. When you move to a new state, you want to explore all the uh, new stuff. Washington State. I lived there for 58 years. Mostly. Yes. Mostly. Maybe 57 years. Something like that. And uh, after a while, you, uh, if you live in a state all your life, you've been and seen all the things in that state. So you have to go further and further away to see new things. You know? and 
general stores and all that, but once once the uh, mine closed up, it wasn't mine anymore. No, it dried up. Not as many people. Just nice to be out. You just 
just kind of get cabin fever after a while. I want to do some walking around here, uh, you know, on some of these trails. I did the uh, Kingman Trail. It just kind of is like a paved trail. It goes uh, through the town of Kingman. It's pretty nice. I've been told that this pizza place over here called Great American Pizza has pretty good pizza. I've never tried it. Side, I guess. Okay. Yeah, the other thing is, you know, if, if you buy some property here, well, water's one thing. You don't want to have to haul your own water in. And the second thing is, is uh, do you have access to electricity? They use Unisource electricity here. Teddy Roosevelt Road. And most of the people have a septic tank around here. And I have septic tank, and thank goodness it's uh, doing okay. And you are able uh, in Gold Valley area. I don't know about Kingman, the city of Kingman, in city limits, whether you can live in your trailer on your lot. There might be a zoning order ordinance for that, but as far as uh, living up the county, it's not, a, not, not an issue. You just have to get a permit. ahead there's a little rock outcropping at one o'clock it's called Castle Rock and from my new property you can see it pretty good the left turn restrictions They've been doing a lot of construction around here. Probably this video will end when my uh, battery goes <laughs> All those cameras, the Hero cameras, the Hero One, Two, they're called, uh, you know, with little clip-on things, and they can go underwater. They're hiring, hiring at Little Debbie. Feed enough Little Debbie, you'll become a Big Debbie. Even unincorporated areas have a Dollar General and a Family Dollar. I think they call them fam Family Dollar General because in general things are a dollar. Not everything. Somebody ran over a pylon and was laying, laying down in the road. Or the wind may have knocked it over, it's hard to say.
once I can take a left turn, I'll end this video. So, hey guys, if you like my videos, uh, put a like there. Um, if there's something you'd like me to change, let me know. Uh, and if you think about it, subscribe. And hit the little bell if you'd like to know when I do any more videos. Uh, I will do videos on like cars, and videos on uh, videos on uh, just traveling and RVs, and full-time RV living. I'm not taking a left turn to end the video yet is because uh, there's not too many places to take a left turn yet. <laughs> I have to wait for the pylons to go by where the end of the construction is. Yep. I'll turn this corner and then I'll end the video. I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed doing it. You have a good day.